For most Cameroonians, it's just trash. But for Pierre Kamsoulum, it's a valuable resource. His plan is to introduce plastic recycling to Cameroon on a large scale. When we were children back in the village, we often sat around the fire and burned old plastic bags. They melted and we made balls from that. But this is not about toys. By adding sand, the molten plastic is mixed into a paste and pressed into molds. Most of the people working here are youths from underprivileged families. They are learning a skill that will be greatly needed in Cameroon, producing cobblestones and slabs. This project is just some few weeks old and there's a lot that needs to be accomplished. We lack breathing masks. I still have to find them. I want them to wear breathing masks, especially when replacing the filter. The project has been made possible by the man who was the world's best footballer in the 1990s World Cup. Roger Mila, who is now a soccer ambassador, is funding it through his foundation Cœur d'Afrique, or Heart of Africa. When you have finished your football career, you have to find something you can do. I decided to look for ways to help Cameroonian youths. Mila has made his cobblestone workshop his flagship project. This morning he's taking around a friend to see the work that's been carried out. Georges Seba is a Cameroonian French pop star visiting the capital Yaoundé. I saw a documentary on television about it and was very much interested to have a look. I think it's something that really needs to be supported. For years, Pierre Kamsoulum traveled through Africa trying to sell his idea. Eventually, Roger Mila brought him back to Cameroon. Now, together with his girlfriend, he's looking for a house. At the moment, he lives with one of Mila's employees. I think it's time I took full responsibility for my life and have a family. The next step is that we would like to get married. Pierre's project promises more stability in his life. He wants to build dozens of such workshops across Cameroon. Eventually, he hopes, his idea will be used in all of Yaoundé's walkways.